Yeah. Hi, welcome to ESCP's Crohn's Month. My name is Caps, I'm one of the postdoc fellows at St Mark's. My name is Janindra, I'm one of the surgeons at St Mark's. We'd like to introduce... Elsa Hart and Samuel Adek Bola talking about problems in anal fistula. Hello, my name is Professor Elsa Haas, consultant gastroenterologist and lead of the IBD research unit at St Mark's Hospital. It's a great pleasure to have with me Mr Sam Adibola, who is a colorectal trainee in the UK. In this Crohn's themed session, we're going to be thinking particularly about perianal Crohn's disease. So of course, perianal Crohn's disease represents, I think, still one of the biggest unmet needs uh, out of all the patients with Crohn's I treat. They're not just struggling physically with symptoms, but often psychologically a lot as well. So a few years ago, we decided as a group that we should uh, have some trials to improve outcomes for patients with perianal Crohn's disease. But when we tried to design those trials, we, we realized a few problems. One is that we can't classify perianal Crohn's very adequately, but maybe more importantly for this discussion, measuring outcomes was a problem. What exactly do you measure for perianal Crohn's disease in a trial setting? So a group designed a core outcome set which looked at what patients, what surgeons, what gastroenterologists, what uh, radiologists and nurses thought was a core outcome set for perianal Crohn's disease. Some of those are objective measures, uh, whether it be MRI imaging or indeed some symptoms, but also very much from the patient perspective, subjective measures, what they feel a good outcome is like. So out of that core outcome set, we needed to measure something and one was quality of life. And Sam, I'd just like you just to talk a little bit about your work that you did here, uh, designing a quality of life questionnaire for perianal Crohn's. Uh, yeah, so I was uh, very pleased to be involved in, in this uh, bit of work, and it was very patient-centered, uh, which was the key, because um, the PDAI, which is the current um, sort of half prom, half clinical um, measure, doesn't, wasn't, patients weren't used in its development. So um, this process really brought patients to the core of the, the, both the design, um, informing the process, the generation of the items and all the review, as well as uh, experience interviews, which I found um, very sort of informative actually, just the depth to which uh, the impact of the condition can have on a patient. Uh, and so they helped us with the cognitive interviews to refine, refine the wording and indeed some items that were duplicated. And then, um, crucially, we had over 180 patients uh, do a test and retest um, uh, performance of the, the CAF core, the Crohn's anal fistula quality of life scale. Uh, and that allowed us to assess psychometric properties and, and validate them as well. Mm. So with this quality of life questionnaire, the outcome is a nice questionnaire that patients can fill in. Correct. And this has got utility, I think, maybe in two different aspects. Mm. One is hopefully in clinical trial design for perianal Crohn's in the future. It can be something which is uniformly used for consistency to try and make sure that consistent uh, data sets are collected. True. But maybe also importantly, it's got utility in the clinic. Yeah. So for any clinician dealing with perianal Crohn's, I think we need to know a little bit more about how it's impacting on the patient. To maybe help us stratify patients who really aren't too troubled, yeah. because they're okay, yeah. and the group who are really troubled, where we can again just direct psychological support. So I hope with this uh, uh, Crohn's theme session, you've learned a little bit about perianal Crohn's disease, maybe particularly that we are still working on better outcome measures to really measure uh, the impact, not just of trials, but also in our clinics. Thanks very much for listening. And have a very Merry Christmas from both of us. <laughs>